If you are up to new and exciting things, you know that stress comes with the territory and your success actually hinges on only 20% skills and 80% on mental fitness. If you show me someone who is not skillful at reducing daily stress, I will show you someone who is either stuck or will get stuck very, very soon. The bottom line is beating stress is essential for us to be able to thrive for life. Today I'm going to show you ways to beat stress in under 20 minutes and if you watch this to the end, I'm going to show you one technique that can beat stress in under 10 seconds. Here we go. I am literally a poster child of the mobilizing power of stress, all right? I was a child refugee at age five. We had to move several different countries, cultures, languages. On top of that, divorce of my parents, ups and downs in relationships, business, all kinds of failures. I can tell you so many dramatic stories, and I think the difference in outcomes hinges on either allowing stress to paralyze you or using stress to mobilize you. Every high achiever I know, and I have coached many over the years, has learned to master stress. When something comes our way that is perceived as a threat, a conflict, bad news, a perceived injustice or attack, our miraculous brains designed to keep us alive will flood us with stress hormones, our neurons started firing up, and for a while we are actually triggered physiologically. In a moment, I'll tell you about an almost instant way to be stressed. But first, I want to tell you about the 20-minute way. We need to know that we are spiritual, emotional, and physical beings, which means we can attack stress in all three levels. And this is how you do it. Let's talk about the spiritual first. Attack stress spiritually, and you'll gain perspective. When you're stressed out, your world is reduced to you and this problem that seems all-consuming. This, of course, is not true at all, but it feels very true in the moment. So if you have a contemplative practice, a meditation practice, you read scripture, you pray, it sets a perspective for you, how the world really works, how you fit in. And this problem that seems huge and overwhelming shrinks or even dissipates and goes away altogether. Attack stress on an emotional level and you can gain this calm and peaceful state that you can build on. I've learned a lot about that from Dr. Jill Bolte-Taylor, who I interviewed on my channel. This is what she says, a thought triggers an emotion, our brain signals danger. There's a physiological response where there's stress hormones released into the system. So we cannot help ourselves, we have an emotional response. But here's the good news, after 90 seconds, all of that is flushed out of our system and we can actually regain control of our emotions. Why don't we? We don't because we don't understand that there's a buffer there. There's a period where we can stop the cycle and redirect our emotions. If you just take a pause and breathe, then you can redirect your emotions. You can head outside. If there's sunshine, you can soak it in for a few minutes. You can call a friend and vent for a little bit. You know you feel better after you vent, right? You can actually watch something funny on YouTube or listen to a podcast that gives you perspective. All these little things can actually change your emotional state and then you can build on that. This brings me to the physical. Go out, go for a quick walk. You can flex your muscles one way or another. Do some push-ups. This gets your blood flowing. It increases your neural activity. It actually releases natural antidepressants into the blood flow, and you'll feel better right away. So how can you beat stress on all three levels in under 20 minutes? Easy. You stack those techniques. You breathe, you take a pause, then you head outside. While you're walking, you also contemplate, you say a prayer. You move your muscles a bit, you exercise. On the way back, you put a headset on, you listen to a great podcast, or listen to some great music, you redirect your emotions. You get home, you take a quick shower, you're a brand new person, and you have won the day. You don't have 20 minutes to reduce stress. You might want to consider slowing down a bit, but I got you. There are legitimate situations where you have to know what to do right now. You're about to go on stage or step into an important meeting or respond to a comment that triggered you or you feel like there's a perceived verbal attack. Before we get into that, is this helpful? If it is, Give us a like, leave us some comments. This helps the algorithm push it to more people that would like this video. Here's what you do when you don't have a lot of time, but you have to deal with stress in a matter of seconds. First, you respect the 90 second rule. If you're in a conversation and you feel something, just stop, take a bathroom break, or just say, hey, I just need a minute. If you're about to go on stage or into a meeting, just factor in an extra five minutes on your own uninterrupted and do this. I learned this technique from one of my favorite experts in human flourishing. His name is Mo Gaudat. He's a former chief business officer for Google X. This is what he does. He asks three questions. Is it true? Can I do something about it? And can I accept it and do something in spite of its presence? According to Mo, 
This works in seven seconds. I've tried it and it really, really works. I hope these insights and techniques will help you as they have helped me. If you want to learn more about this stuff, I can give you access to a free class at exponential.life slash access. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, you might like another video that I have about the five rules of work-life balance. Also, let me know what you think. I'll leave you a link at the end. Thank you again for watching Headspace.